This is First Morning Weather. Welcome back on your Tuesday afternoon. A completely different view from this morning in the Horseheads High School Sky Cam. We couldn't even see the little hills and even the highway this morning as visibility was reduced to zero in most of the twin tiers. But the fog burning off as well as those low level clouds bringing lots of sunshine this afternoon to the sky cam and dry conditions that are not going to last long because we're going to see some showers returning to the twin tiers later in the afternoon and into the early evening. Before that, though, expect these temperatures that have been rising through those upper 50s and lower 60s. Well, they're in the 70s now for most of the region, mainly those lower 70s across the northern tier of Pennsylvania. A little bit warmer though in Westfield at 76 and the mid 70s are continuing in that southern tier of New York with a 75 right now in Ithaca. Most of us will be getting into those mid and even upper 70s by this afternoon, feeling a little bit more like summer today than going into fall. But we will see those fall like temperatures returning in the next couple of days. It's all due to a cold front we're tracking right now. Not too much happening though on satellite and radar, a little bit closer to home. We are starting to see those clouds increasing in the western portions of the viewing area as we continue to monitor this cold front that sends all the way from Canada down through Ohio, where we're starting to see showers this afternoon in Cleveland and approaching the Buffalo area slowly working its way towards us and we'll potentially see the showers starting right around 4 p.m. So as those kids are heading home from work and you're heading home from school, you might want to think about an umbrella just in the back pocket, especially if you're in Hornell or Prattsburg, even up towards Penyon, you're starting to see those showers mainly on the scattered side throughout your Tuesday evening. It's into the overnight. We're looking at some pockets of heavy rain indicated by the yellows and oranges on future track. This continues into the overnight period and even into your Wednesday morning. We're seeing cloudy skies. We're likely to see those heavy showers really just continuing on eastern portions of the viewing area into Wednesday morning. Finally moves out of here to the east and we'll see that cloud cover going away with it, bringing back so much drier weather and a lot of sunshine by the afternoon hours. As for your rainfall totals, it really just depends on where those heavy bands will be. We could see anywhere from a quarter of an inch to a half an inch with some localized higher amounts possible across the twin tiers and this is into noon on Wednesday. But let's take a little jump to the Atlantic. We're still tracking Hurricane Lee, currently a category three hurricane going to move parallel with that eastern coastline, bringing dangerous surf as well as rip currents to much of the east coast. It will continue to the north towards the Gulf of Maine and even towards Nova Scotia, where it's expected to make landfall. Now this is going to move in and continue to weaken. We could see some heavier bands of rain though, hitting the east coast as well as some high wind gusts over towards the Twin Tiers though. We're just looking at some increased cloud cover to start off your weekend. Other than the rain showers going into later today and tonight, we'll see them continuing into Wednesday. Temperatures quickly dipping through the 60s, but we're back to the 70s by this upcoming weekend. And we're looking at fair skies with showers returning by Monday. Max.